all in a day's work. ER doctor. ER stands for emergency room. This is all about it. So today, my name is Shin Han, and today I'm going to tell you about the ER doctor. So let's start. <sighs> so all ER doctors, well, like all doctors, they're doctors. But they're special doctors in the most, most um, needed kind. Almost almost needed. But all of these guys might have to give them surgeries. Like the guys who have surgeries and the guys who give them x-rays and the guys who have them MRTs and other scannings. And sometimes they have to stitch, you know, stitch stuff. I don't want, don't look at this. You know. Close the book, close the book. And that is how they work about this. It's all of their own form. They like to do this all along, and they are very proud of doing it. And that's how come they're in love of it. But I regret that because of all of this. The type of thing I really want to tell you is that some stuff are noobs. Even though noobs aren't very good stuff, but still very bad stuff, they can be very, very, very bad. That's all that they can happen. It's all just that all stuff can be bad. And also that ER doctors may be the scariest one of all. Whenever you pass middle school, you are a doctor. But if you test, but you fail lots of tests in middle school, you would, well, um, you would, well, get kicked out of medical school while you're sitting on a chair, of course. That's why I made the chair sound. And last time. And all of this in a day's work. Do you know the previously of that animator and the police officer videos I made? Well, it's all about this series, but still, let's talk about this. It's all about ER doctors, and ER doctors are emergency rooms. They are in emergency rooms, and they help people whenever they am. They never close in 365 days. That's a whole year. They never close, even on holidays. That's how they happen, and also if somebody is in injury, they were ready, even in holidays. Can you believe that? Well, police officers also don't be on holidays, also, but animators may, may, and all this is because of the type of thing is that they have to work hard. Thieves are out there on holidays too, but for police officers, but if someone is injured on a holiday, that's a ER. Job. And here's the most disgusting thing and the weird part of some 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 guys. This is the weirdest part. Oh, don't look at that. You know where was that? I do want to show you something weird that most people come with. Oh yeah, some people swallow pennies. Can you believe that swallowing a penny? Um, and also a man a man broke a pencil in his ear. Can you imagine what would happen like that? And that's how come they did it. Um, just like this. Let's say this and this is a whole pencil. Now I put it in my ear, put a pencil in my ear. And I broke it. And that's how come they happened. And one man did that. Can you imagine one man did that? I guess you can't imagine how that happened, of course. Yeah. Get that all in the day's work can also happen with this type of procedure please take a picture of it pause the video and take a picture or just a screenshot if you're already done it free pause the video unpause i mean and also almost 2500 people Come to the ER every year because of toothbrushes. Can you imagine toothbrush injuries? That's a little bit weird. And ER toothbrush injuries? That's a lot weird because of toothbrush goes into their throat just to make a choke. Yeah. And this is a full... 
is a room for all the hospitals. And all the room for the hospitals. This is the ER. And this is where babies are took care. And this is where heart attacks are taken care. And this is where all of them connects to. Over and out. So sometimes they have blood tests like this type of blood it's almost filled with blood when i need my, my magnifying glass it looks like blood you try to see it with the magnifying glass oops here it is that's how it sees right that's how you see it and it is blood in small test tubes. And also, one doc, one student doctor, gets looks at a very trained doctor to look at how this happens. And then they try it. And then later they teach the others to try how to do it. And that's a girl doctor from the Chinese nation, I think. And all this can be. And some of them may be unconscious. And in this passage, all of them is all about to meet a doctor. Read it or take a picture of it and read it later. But we have something to get on with. Pause the video until you're done. So all of this is all in this book. But what about you? Well, I'll tell you some stuff that I had experienced with me. And there will be some quiz at the end of this video. I had an experience with, well, science and stuff. You know, like, I like science. That's how come I have these bar magnets. And I have test tubes in that bedroom, but I can't go in there. And they attract. Yeah, those are very... This is very fun. Oh, oh yeah, and also, why we do this is that I never been a doctor before, but I did went to having us. Well, I did went to get some blood tested because of my of a sickness. Of course, sickness may not be very good procedure course for you, but still, I was sick at that time, and I had a little pen into it. And it took away some of my blood just to test it. And then they tested that there was viruses and I had to drink some yucky medicine that I threw up in that place. That's how it works. That's how it worked. And can you believe that I threw up? I can't. I can't. Of course, the type of thing is that I can't believe that I threw up. And all of that is nonsense. Can you believe anything like that? Of course you can't. But all that was happened in the blood part. Not the cold blood part. The, the blood part. Just a, whatever. But all this has happened when I had that blood pressure. I was checked two times. Once I was better and then I got sick again. I had to go there and I had to check my blood again. Blood, blood. Blood. That was very unsuccessful, but I only did it two times. And I almost threw up when I tried to eat something. Almost threw up in the sidewalk, actually. I still remember that day. But only still, we are still having this type of stuff. Of that. Of course, you, my guys, are doing it right now. Or a few past ago. If we're growing up, you might have done it. And also, I don't want to give blood to anyone else. My blood. What I felt here is that I felt like a bar magnet. What I meant a bar magnet is that I felt like that I had blood right in the North Pole and nothing in the South Pole. That meant that I was about 50% blood after I got that type of thing out. And it made me, and it gave me memories of my past. Ugh, that was not so good. I don't want to. That's why I never wanted to look at the ER doctor book. They're too scary. So this is how they worked. But for the quiz, what have you learned from this book? 
and what have you learned about blood? And what have you learned? And what did did you have an experience in this of this ER doctor stuff? Also, the most important question and the question for my day is what happened before you read what happened to you before you read this book? Maybe when you're 2 years old or 3 years old or even 8 years old. But whatever it is, it should be good and a little scary. So this is the end of the story and video. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Shunhan, super out.